I got a friend behind me. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Redwood Fisherman. I am traveling along this beautiful landscape here in Northern California on my way out to the Pacific Ocean. It's about a 40 minute drive and it is one absolutely beautiful drive. These rolling hills, just absolutely gorgeous. Anyways, I've got squid, I've got clams, I've got shrimp, I've got all kinds of different bait and I've got crab gear and I've got the kayak. So let's make it a good day. I'll see you at the beach in one second. I'm getting ready to launch my kayak and I find this beauty. Look at this guy. Wow. Huge clam, let's go. You just never know what you're gonna find in the surf. I've picked up full-size Dungeness crabs right around this area in the past, so here's the kayak. The fog just came in. It's real early in the morning, but hopefully it goes out. We're going to be okay. We just got to be careful. Let's do this, baby. That was about as easy as a launch you could possibly have. My really only concern today is the fog. Check it out. That's a jetty right there. This guy's crab fishing on it. But it's visibility is really poor. So my concern would be boats not seeing me. So that's something I need to be aware of because I'm going to pass through the channel where the boats exit this bay here. So I gotta be really careful. And then in addition, I got a lot of weight on the boat with the crab pots. My gear and me, it's not a light craft here. Anyways, we're rolling, let's do this. Let's go get some crabs and maybe some fish, let's go. First crab pot going down. All right, second one going in here. Well, that took about 30 minutes to untangle that lead line. What a nightmare. What a good opportunity for learning as well. Um, get your ropes all dialed in before you come out here. All right, this is our big test here. Let's go, baby. There's nothing we'll take it farther out. Big rock crab, a couple big rock crabs, let's go. That's a huge one right there. That might be a keeper. A couple good sized rock crab. No dungies though. That sucks. Female rock crabs. So there's another one. Big rock crab. Nice big claws, but another female. This is a huge female, look at her. Probably like a lot bigger than the other ones. Yeah, check it out. That's the female, it's this wider apron at the bottom. See that much wider apron. The male has a much skinnier one. I'll show you when I get one. Anyways, okay, we'll throw this guy back. Yeet. All right, with that in mind, we are moving to another spot. It 
feels kind of heavy. One crap, one keeper. Let's go. Oh, there's a dungeon. Might be, might be, might be a keeper, might be too small. Let's measure him up. Oh, he looks pretty small. But we can get a measure on him. That's a dungeness, male dungeness crab. Anyways, that's a good sign. We'll let this guy go. And say goodbye to him. That's a feisty little guy right there. Woo. He's ready for the fight. That's a male rock crab. Let's measure him. And he is feisty. Get a couple more like that, it would be fine. He's a keeper. But he's so small. He's got a couple claws on him. If we get some more, we'll keep him. If not, we'll let him go. Sound good? Point it down. Will it be good luck? Oh, that's a nice dungy. Oh, yeah. Okay. That might be a keeper right there. Let's go, baby. It's a male, too. It's a big crab right here. Oh, he's only got one leg, but check him out. Nice crab. All right, let's get a measure on this guy. I think he's too small. Looks like a healthy crab, though. Just missing a leg. All right, well, oh, so he's good with his one pincher. All right, buddy, live to see another day. It is absolutely beautiful right now. There's no wind. A couple boats around. All right, let's go. Come on, be a couple crab in here. Oh, it feels heavy. It feels real heavy. What if that just minute was full of crab? What if there was some crab in it? Oh, wow. It's full of rock crab, females. One is super pregnant. Check this out. It's kind of cool, actually. So that's a pregnant female rock crab. And we're gonna let her go gently. Wow, look at this little dungy. Very purple little crab. So pretty looking, look at that guy. Oh, he's feisty, look at him. Ooh, he's got pinchers and healthy and pinching. Wants to get me, look at him. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. You didn't think I was going to forget to put the drone up, did you? Let's roll to the drone footage right now. saw me roll the drone footage right there and I don't know what happened but the drone went straight down into the ocean but stayed right at the water's edge and was able to take off again so I dipped it in the water and then it took off I don't know if it's gonna be broken because the salt water is so bad for a drone but I was able to fly it back and retrieve it which whew, that was a close one I just hope it doesn't break and there's not water inside that ruins it but I, I dipped it in. It will be hopefully it's on video. It'll be awesome to see. And uh, okay, it's about twelve. I'm gonna pick up these crab pots and get out of here. I got three keepers for this crab spicy crab cookout thing I want to do. All right, let's go. All right, so I was just cleaning up this stuff here. And uh, anyways, let's see what we got here. All right, so we got three red rock crab. These are more red, this is more like a rock crab. 
and uh, one giant clam look at this thing this thing's amazing so today is going to be three red rock crab and one clam 